Oh, look, I would love to put, um, you know, some electrodes on Age's brain to, to know what's kind of going on in there, and there's absolutely nothing behind it. Oh, yeah. oh what a catch! Payne takes the crucial wicket of Smith. He hangs on. Brilliant. And they're happy. And so they should be. They're happy, but they can't really celebrate with him, unfortunately. He's sticking his elbows out there, trying to get some sort of skin from his teammates. But as JL made us aware, he's suffering from the flu and has to stay away from his teammates where he can. But how important might this be? Was that change of pace again as well as a slower ball? He's been very unpredictable, David Payne. Gets to see him up. He's in the mid-130s, and that's an off-cutter type. At 120, two deliveries and a good catch on the back of it. So an important breakthrough for the Perth Scorchers. The most informed man on the planet has gone for 18. Three for 42. Just go for it, son. I'll back you in. He goes again. Has he got enough? No. Will it be caught? It is. Eskenazi has taken the catch. The crowd up on their feet. They know how critical it was to remove the dangerous Enriquez, who'd already done heaps of damage. There was some hang time for that catch with this crowd here. We listened to Steve Eskenazi early in the season. Hang time. It's gone again for it. Moses Enriquez and high ball, but underneath it. And watch this crowd erupt. Big wicket, four for 130. 2,000 runs. Caught! He's done it again. Well, no one's allowed to go near paint, so he just does all the work himself. Two caught and bolts. And he's completed his spell. So we won't get to see a hat trick ball, but three for 33 with the flu. Five for 130. necessary was it there from Hayden Kerr just the last ball of the power surge probably could have just seen that one off got through kept himself in for the last few overs of the game but what it does is bring Dan Christian out into the middle of Perth Stadium yep.